Hi, Randy Zucker here from Gen Connect at the Sundance Film Festival, joined by writer, director of It Felt Like Love, Eliza Hitman. Welcome, Eliza. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. You know, when I was reading about the film before watching it, and everyone should definitely go see this film, parents, teachers, across generations. What I found interesting was how you went back to your roots in a sense. You went back to Morrow High School to first do a casting call. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, you know, I think when I cast and when I write, you know, I'm drawing from a, you know, a, a personal place. So I like to cast people that I'm, that feel familiar to me. So I really went back to Morrow looking for kids that feel like people that I used to know. And, you know, that familiarity, I think, sort of helps in the process. And we were able to bond, you know, I was able to bond with the cast because of that connection. What was the inspiration of Lila, the main female character? Um, I guess, you know, the inspiration for the character was I wanted to create somebody that was relatable in a way that the audience doesn't necessarily want to admit they relate to, you know, because she's so pressured to present herself as having certain, having had certain experiences, um, but, you know, she hasn't had them, and I feel like that's something we do all the time, you know, where we, you know, there's a contradiction in, you know, who we are and who we present ourselves as. So beyond being a coming-of-age story, I feel like that's something, you know, that forms in adolescence, but sort of you carry with you. Did you have a coming of age moment? Um, I mean, I think that, you know, your life is sort of filled with a string of them. And I think that they're much more, I think that they're darker and much more uncomfortable, you know, than they're often portrayed in movies, which is why I really, you know, wanted to make this film. Because I think that we idealize childhood and we idealize our experiences. And I think that characters in films behave in a very artificial way, and I think that my film tries to get at something much deeper and much more uncomfortable. What are you hoping people can leave with the film? Um, I think that I don't have like one specific thing that I want people to walk away with. It's not a cautionary tale. You know, the character doesn't learn something or transform. I think it's about, you know, showing these moments in her life that, you know, will obviously become part of who she is. And I think it's a, it's more, the film is more expressive than it is, you know, more about making like a moral point. Now, in certain, your cast was young, so certain scenes are a little risky. There was some maneuvering taking place behind the, the set in order to, to make it a little more appropriate for these actors to portray these characters. Can you just go into that a little bit? Um, well, you know, there was a long casting process, you know, with Gina Persanti and making her understand like how the film would be shot and how she would be comfortable in it. And in part of some, in, in the more controversial scenes, um, everything is shot in singles. So she was alone in the room when the films were, when the scene was being shot so that she would feel most comfortable as well as the other actors. Um, and I actually stood in as her body double for a lot of the moments, um, you know, where there were things that she couldn't be exposed to legally. So it was very complicated and I didn't expect to be her body double, but it put me in this weird position, you know, and it was much more intimate because I was in some sense, the character going through, you know, the most sort of challenging moments of the film. For more videos, you can visit Gen Connect.